up Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs, welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. And today I have a very large box, very large box of a bunch of Sailor Moon stuff from Japan. Now everything in this box is items that I purchased through Premium Bandai or other places such as resellers. Um, everything in here I believe is currently available. If it's sold out I will let you know down below in the show notes but if it is still available I will link you so that you can purchase them as well through your proxy or just straight through from Japan or Premium Bandai. Uh, everything that I got through here is through my uh, From Japan account. So I was able to order everything, get it shipped to the From Japan warehouse, and then they packaged it up and stuck it all in this box and then shipped it to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and break open this box and see what I got. So first off, this wasn't included in this box, but I wanted to mention uh, rarecandy.com, which is where I was able to get this keychain. It's the Sailor Moon Monster Strike collaboration keychain. Uh, this is pretty hard to find like it's kind of impossible to find nowadays, which is ridiculous uh, But yeah, they were able to get this for me. It's very cute. It's a gold colored uh, Keychain that says Sailor Moon Monster Strike. It has a chibi Sailor Moon on there It has her compact and it has a crescent moon now if I pull this out Oh, it's pretty heavy too. It's nice and durable. So this was like the premium keychain that they were selling uh, instead of just the acrylic one. And it's very cute. So I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, it's adorable. I can't wait to use it. Yay. I'll keep that in the box for now. And I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of here so it's a lot easier to see what I got. Okay, so I have everything out of that huge box of swag, uh, as you can see. So I will go ahead and start at the top of this mountain of mess with these two adorable petite charas. These are limited edition that just came out in the springtime. Uh, these are the petite chara pretty guardian sailor Moon Hina Matsuri Usagi and Mamoru version. Now there's also these two that are the Haruka and Michiru versions. So I got both of them because I just could not choose and I like collecting all of the things. So I'm going to go ahead and open these and see what they look like. Okay, so each of these different petite charas come with a little display stand that they can sit on top of. It's a little red display stand. Uh, the one with Usagi and Mamoru comes with a little silhouette of Luna and her heart compact and then his hat and his mask in gold. Uh, they also come with a nice little backdrop that apparently you have to fold yourself to set up. I am losing my petite charas, so you have to fold it yourself and set it behind them, so I'll show you that in action. Uh, the petite charas themselves, their heads do move a little bit, which is super cute. Of course, both of them are dressed in the traditional wear that they would wear for like a Hanamatsuri festival. Usagi has a red kimono on, and then Mamoru has his gray one on, and they both look very cute. I I see no defects on either of these, which is wonderful because they were pretty pricey for just two petite charas. These are going to look excellent to add to my collection. And then we also have Michiru and Haruka. And then these ones also come with a red stand. Haruka and Michiru's come with their talismans on it, as well as a bunch of sakura flowers around there, which is so cute. Again, we have to fold the backdrop ourselves. So Haruka is dressed in a dark blue uh, kimono, and then Michiru is dressed in a teal colored one, which matches her overall color. Again, no defects with these, which is great, and I will show you some close-ups of them so you can see what they look like. The next thing I got is a couple of different water bottles. So these water bottles are the Sailor Moon and the Chibi Moon versions. I'll go ahead and open these so we can take a look at what they actually look like in real life. So both of these are stainless steel. They apparently come with all the things that you would like a water bottle to come with. Uh, they both have, uh, looks like, temperature readings of 89 Celsius, 70 Celsius? I don't know what that means. Oh, 89 down to eight apparently is what they can do. So it's stainless steel bottles with Teflon quality tested non-stick coatings, vacuum structure so that they can do both hot and ice cold, and they fit 355 mill milliliters, which is an excellent little size. So the Sailor Moon one features the Silver Millennium um, castle on the front of it, and then it also has her 
uh, one of her wands on the back of it. Uh, there's a bunch of cute little stars printed all the way around. And then it says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. And the top is a gold color or like a bronze color almost. It also has her heart compact on it. And then around the edges, it says the pretty guardian in a sailor suit, guardian of love and justice, sailor moon, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Okay, so that is the sailor moon one. Then we have the chibi moon one, which also has the crystal castle on there. And then on the back, we have her, what is it called? Her heart crisis wand. I don't remember the name of her wand, but it has her wand on the back of it. And then I really like the pink color of the metal at the top. It also has her brooch in the center. Nothing on the inside, obviously. And the only difference with this is it says, Love and Justice, Sailor Chibi Moon, in the name of the future moon, I'll punish you. So that's the only difference with the saying that's around the outside of this one. These are very, very cute. I like them a lot. Very pretty. I also got a few things from a company called, I think it is Gourmandise, but I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, first thing I got is this really cute retractable key case. It's basically like a little pouch that you can stick things inside of and it features Luna and it's made out of this super, super soft plush material. Uh, very cute. It's just freaking adorable. I also got a phone stand, which is in a light purple color, uh, kind of like Diana almost, but it's got an embroidered moon on the front. It's got two little ears and then you stick your phone in there. I have my phone right here, so let's see if it fits. And it does! It fits! That's so cute! So that's adorable. The other thing I got is a cable roll. So with this, it kind of looks like a yo-yo almost, but you stick your cables on the inside of it, right around here, you wrap them all the way around, and then you close it down like that. And then there's a little notch on the back side of it so that you can take your cables out. Uh, there's a notch on the forward side too. So like if you have headphones or something, you could take the headphones out one end and then the port out the other end. That's cute and it's super sparkly too. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, yes I do, Never mind. I know what this is. Okay, so this is a, a card case that I received. Uh, this was made by Premium Bandai, I think, and it's basically just a very simple fake leather card case uh, which features the bedspread print. They also came out with a really pretty one that was heart-shaped uh, that could be used as like a coin purse, but I missed out on that one. It sold out before I could get it. So I did end up getting the card case because I was like, I use business cards all the time and this would be extremely useful for conventions. So I do intend to use this at conventions whenever I go to them. It looks like it'll be pretty durable and it does say Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon on there. And then the inside has a really cute print of the same thing with the bedspread. This just looks like, oh, Premico. It's, it's an advertisement from one of the companies that I purchased items from. So that's came in the box. Yay. <laughs> I also got both of these. Um, I have been using this one. I have not been using this one. However, I did switch out the insides from this one to this one because I preferred the inside of this one. These are schedulers or, or schedule books or calendars or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they come with a zipper pouch. They are slightly padded on the inside. And then the booklet that you receive on the inside is a year long calendar. So you have every single month branched out into like a calendar sheet form, which is very easy to use. And then right after that, you also have each day, which is written out so that you have plenty of room to do like planning and stuff like that. It goes all the way from the beginning of 2019 to the end of 2019. And I believe there's a few months after that uh, nope, never mind. It just ends at December uh, 2019. After that, we have some graph paper to use. There's some line paper to use. And then at the very end of these calendar schedule books, we have an address page. There is an age chart. There's a food calorie list and nutrient list and BMI list. Uh, there are correct manners, which is so cute. Japanese manor system. There's a map of the world. There is a map of the Tokyo subway stations. There is a subway map. Uh, and then there's subway maps for, I'm, I'm assuming these are subway maps for a bunch of different cities. I think Osaka is one of those. Cool. And then at the very end is personal data in case you want to fill that out. Uh, these also came with sticker sheets too, so that you can use the stickers and 
stick them all over your schedule calendars. So I've been using mine. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I decided to choose this one over using this one because I really like that they had the little metal star on the front. And I also really like the print and the design of this one. Uh, it's like this one is embossed while this one is printed just straight on the padded sheet. So that's the only big difference between these two other than the art is different. Okay, we're almost to the end of this big box of goodies. Uh, this is my next item that I wanted to show you. This is a Sailor Moon Store exclusive watch. So I pre-ordered this from the website way last year. It was a long time ago, uh, but I'll go ahead and open this for you. Uh, the box for this is actually really cute. It has Luna on it and as well as the moon stick. And both of these look exactly like they do at the Sailor Moon store. There's a whole bunch of art at the Sailor Moon store that you can see and they look like that. So the watch itself is really pretty. It's got a pink leather material for the bands, for the actual wristbands. On the back of it, it says Sailor Moon Store, stainless steel case back, first anniversary, and then a number. So my number on here is 771, pretty cool. Uh, Japan movement assembled in China. And then the front of it, uh, on the band itself, you have a cute little tiara with a little pink gemstone. And the watch face has little clear gemstones all the way around. There's a moon stick inside there, as well as a little fuku bow. There's also a little Luna head silhouette and it says Sailor Moon and then there's a bunch of cute little pearls and little gemstones inside of it too. It's also mirrored on the sides to make it look a little bit bigger too. It is slightly domed as well and I don't think it is waterproof or anything so you have to be pretty careful with it when you wear it. But I love this thing. It is so Harajuku. Like that is the image that I get when I look at this watch. It is Harajuku through and through. I also got another watch. This is the Wicca Sailor Moon collaboration watch. Uh, the front of this box is really pretty. It has the time key and then it has a little gemstone in the middle of the time key. I don't think that's a Swarovski or anything like that. We have a little Primico Wicca Sailor Moon uh, piece of paper. I don't know. It probably has information in here about the watch, but it's written in Japanese, so I can't really uh, tell you what it says. On the inside, we have a 25th anniversary Sailor Moon, that silhouette, that same kind of logo branding. It is in a rose gold color and it matches the rose gold watch. Okay, so this watch I was very much looking forward to because I love the color. Uh, on the back of this one, it does say Wicca Sailor Moon 25th Anniversary. Um, it says Japanese Movement cased in China. But this is really cute. It's not super like gaudy like the Sailor Moon store watches, but this one is this pretty rose gold. It's square. It's really small and dainty. And then on the inside we have Sailor Pluto's Talisman. There's the time key, and then there's a little star and a little crystal at the very bottom of it. So it's very simplistic. Like if you were looking at this from far away, you cannot tell that it's Sailor Moon, uh, which is sometimes exactly what you want with fashion is, is just little intricate details that only another Sailor Moon collector would really notice. So I really like this. I'll have to get it resized before I can wear it because these are always way too big for me, but I prefer it that way so that it's not too small. So the last thing on my list is from Isetan. So Isetan is kind of like a Nordstrom's or a Macy's in Japan. Uh, I've been in one in Tokyo and it was gorgeous. It was full of like super fancy stuff, which I could not afford, uh, but they do come out with a collaboration with Sailor Moon every year. Now this year's was extremely disappointing for me. I was not happy with any of the Isetan products except for like these two items and then a few different bits of China which are not actually going to ship until like August. So one of the nice things with Isetan is if you order the items from their website or if you order them uh, from the store, then they usually come with a bag. So in this case, they came with a nice little like canvas tote bag and these say Isetan meets Sailor Moon, uh, my son de Sailor Moon, and then some something in French. I have no clue what that says, but very cute little bags. They also came with shopping bags this year. Isetan made Sailor Moon, the same thing. And the only things that I got from the fashion slash accessory line were these two items. I got two 
wallets and that was it. So this is the first wallet which I have already done some use with. Uh, this comes in a really pretty color. It's supposed to match or kind of be uh, influenced by Sailor Moon's transformation. That's why you see these ribbons going all over the place and there are a bunch of pretty colors. I love that this thing looks like a freaking unicorn. It's just so pretty. The front of it has Sailor Moon's compact and it does have Swarovski crystals in it. Uh, this is a premium line for this Sailor Moon wallet. The inside says Moon Prism Power Makeup and it says Sailor Moon. Uh, it has plenty of room for cards and things like that. It is purple slash kind of a pinkish color. It's more of like a purple color. And then we have plenty of room on the zipper pouch for additional cards. There is also two slots for bills too, so you can stick your bills in there and then close it up and just use it as a miniature wallet. The other one that I received, which I have not used yet, is based off of the Silver Millennium uh, castle. It's based off of the castle on the moon. So this one has a cute little crescent moon at the front and it has little teeny tiny gemstones in there. Uh, these might be Swarovski, but I don't remember, so don't quote me on that. The little label says Sailor Moon. Now this print is really pretty. It has a big background of the moon and then we have the castle itself showing all the way around. So on the back side, it does end with a nice big silver piece and that's where you could like put bills if you wanted to. Alternatively, you could also put bills on the inside. So there is plenty of room on the inside for cards and for bills and for change and everything else that you could think of that you might need space for. So this is for a nice big wallet. Uh, it does have silver texture on the inside. There's no print or anything. It's just full navy and that's it. Uh, however, this wallet also came with a little miniature card holder. So this features Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion, and then it has the castle in the background, which is so pretty. And then there's the planet. I, I'm guessing that's supposed to be planet Earth, or maybe it is the moon. It shouldn't be the moon because the castle is on the moon. So on the back, we have two slots for cards, and then you can just carry this around, or you can stick it inside of the wallet and carry this around too. Or you could just use them separate if you want. Whoo, that was a lot of stuff, but man, I am so excited about all these accessories. I can't wait to wear everything and like use my wallet and use my little schedule book and like drink out of my new water bottle. It's gonna be so fancy. Oh man, so many cute things. Thank you so much, Premium Bandai. Love your website. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up everything that I have in that box. Uh, I'm super excited about using all these different products. So let me know if there's any questions that you have about them down below in the comments. And let me know what your favorite item from this haul is. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, my name is Sailor Snubs. Jane.